What is going on, my YouTube family? Sergeant Greybeard at Greybeard Gaming Group. Today is Wednesday, December 2nd, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. Today, we want to go over the state of the game, which just ended a little while ago. We want to answer some of your questions and go over what we can hopefully expect in the game moving forward. Now, if you happen to be new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. Finally, as most of you know, we have giveaways here, and our current one is for a $100 gift card to either the Xbox or PlayStation Store, and all you need to do to enter is subscribe to our channel here or follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine. We will be announcing the winner on December 10th of this year, and as I've said in every previous video, watching our content is not a requirement to win. Only watch the things here you may enjoy. That's why we give you the option of entering via Twitter. Having said that, let's get into today's video. So there happens to be a lot of things we'd like to go over today, so what we will do is start off with the highlights from today's state of the game, we'll go over a few things that we were a little bit disappointed about, and then we'll get into that last phase of the BTS, some changes we can expect, and also things we can expect moving forward. Now, as most of you may know by now, they have officially announced, they did this with a tweet yesterday, that uh, Season 4, Title Update 12, is going to be coming out next Tuesday, which is December 8th. So this is the last week to complete anything you may need to with Season 3. For those of you that may not be able to finish Season 3 before next week, they will give you the ability to get that, you know, end of season reward, the shrapnel trap, in another way once the, you know, Season 3 ends. I don't know what that way is, but as soon as we do, we will let you know. The next thing we want to talk about, my friends, has to do with Codename Nightmare, and unfortunately, it is only going to be an apparel event. There will be no new content, and I know for a lot of gamers that is beyond disappointing. They originally brought this up in September at the Ubisoft Forward event, and now I can understand why they haven't really talked about it. I know it's been an incredibly tough time, it's been a crazy year, all of these things have been going on in everyone's world, and unfortunately this is a side effect of one of those things. And this is just my opinion, but I really liked the energy from today's state of the game. And when Yannick brought that up, you could tell he was defeated. Like it, it was a, it was something that I know they hoped they could do. They weren't able to. And while I know the community is upset, you know, with certain aspects of the game, this is something I know they wanted that just couldn't happen. However, right after mentioning that Codename Nightmare was switched to an apparel event, he did go on to talk about the fact that the next gen, the, the game's getting an upgrade for next gen systems, so the frame rate will be much higher. And as we move on, trust me when I say I wish I had different news in regards to that. I know it's going to be incredibly disappointing. People are hoping that it was going to be some sort of survival or something, you know, of that nature. And unfortunately, again, we don't have another state of the game until the beginning of next year. And really quick, one thing I failed to mention is that that change to the frame rate for the Xbox uh, Series X as well as the PS5 will not take place until title update 12.1, which will happen on February 2nd. All right, my friends, so now let's go over what we can expect from title update 12 and season four, which again starts next Tuesday. You can see here, here's pretty much an outline of what we can expect moving forward. And all of these different events and apparel events and targets pretty much get us through February of next year. Now, the good news is that they have made a lot of positive changes with the gear that's coming out with TU-12. And I know a lot of people were reluctant to get excited in the sense that it really seems skill-based, which it is. However, the new ARs and the new exotic and a lot of these things, you're going to be able to put some amazing hybrids together. I mean, you have heard me mention previously that all the PDRs in the game are getting a buff. They should then hold true or just pretty much be at an, at, at an even keel with other ARs in the game. That includes the new exotic, the capacitor. So the weapons are moving in the right direction. There is also the new exotic shotgun, the Scorpio, which, as you know, I cannot stop talking about. I'm going to be farming for that thing like crazy. And they've also made a lot of great changes to the Bighorn, which really makes me want to farm for that as well. And in my opinion, that is the entire point of farming for exotics. You want to make sure it's worth your while. Like, I have certain exotics I don't use in the game because they, they just don't really make my build any better. However, these new ones coming out seem to really highlight things that players want to see. 
Now we'd like to show you some of the things that you can get from the apparel event that is coming up. And again, I know it's not new content. I am bummed about that as well, but at least some of this gear does look pretty sick. Now with that first picture, it's the Slayer, you know, uh, submachine gun. It shoots snowballs. It's, it's the exact same thing as last year. We will get back to that in a second, but right now we want to show you some of the new gear sets. They are tactical. They look absolutely sick. You have the Grizzly, Coyote, Hawk, and Mongoose. I can tell you right now, my friends, I'm just going to be rocking the Hawk outfit right here. I think it's absolutely sick. Now, going back to the uh, other picture at the beginning of this thing, which showed the Snowball submachine gun, a Santa hat, and a new Hunter mask, those will be items you'll be able to get in the season as well. With the Santa hat, you're going to get that from just logging in. And if you already own it, you will not get it again. It's just something you get one time. In regards to the Slayer submachine gun, it's the same thing. There are these random NPCs that show up in the world wearing a Santa hat, waving their arms at you. Those are the NPCs that will drop that weapon. Now, in regards to the new Hunter mask, they did not give us any details on how we can get it. Obviously, as soon as I know, I will pass that information on to you. We'll show you a video, but they kind of hinted at the fact that it's a Hunter we've already seen and we'll obviously have to, you know, defeat them in order to get it. Next, they talk about a new global event that's coming out with Season 4, and it does sound really enjoyable. It's called, uh, the, the event is called Golden Bullet, and I, it's basically, there's an NPC that has this little golden bullet icon over his head. And basically, if that thing fills up, you don't want to get hit by that guy. However, once you take out the NPC that has the golden bullet icon above his head, he drops that bullet, you pick it up, and it immediately gives you a boost of damage, speed, you know, rate of fire, and those things refresh if you get a kill while it's active. And honestly, out of all the global events we've had, that is the first one where I'm like, hmm, I think I'd actually like to play that. That's really good. You know, I mean, that, that to me sounds enjoyable. Now, the other thing with global events is they have now made a huge change, or excuse me, they're making a huge change to how we get rewards with Title Update 12. Most of you know they are introducing a global event vendor, and what happens is with these global events, uh, before or currently with the current global event, whatever it's called now, I don't even know to be honest with you, uh, Guardians I think it is, um, you get stars, and those stars gives you, you know, pre-selected, you know, rewards. With these changes coming in Season 4, moving forward, every time you gain a shade level, you'll also gain a star. And those stars can then be spent at the vendor, so you can really choose any sort of cash that you're looking for. For so many members of the community, I would say a good, like, probably 50-60% who play this game, you know, you're already at shade level 1000. There hasn't been really a need to farm for XP in a while. However, if I'll just speak, you know, to, to my own gameplay, uh, it, this will get me farming for XP, without a doubt. If I know I can save those stars and pick up things for recalibration or optimization or whatever it may be, then I will actually have the incentive to do that, which will keep me playing this game longer. Finally, my friends, we want to get into talking about the cost of the optimization while we are on that topic. And for many people out there, including myself, I talked about the fact that it really seemed way too expensive for what we are trying to, you know, improve. It was directly discussed today, which in my opinion was perfect. This is one of the things I hope they would talk about. Um, and basically the way it was broken down was this is a tool that you should use to just get that gear that's almost maxed pretty much over the edge. This should not be the reason you're farming all day long. And the reason behind that is simple. If they made this really easy to max out your stats, they've completely killed the entire economy in the game in regards to farming. And tr I mean, you, there's no point in farming for items if everything you have, you can already max out really easily. And the other thing, as I mentioned, and they brought up today is that with season four and a lot of ways that we could get these different components, we were unable to with the PTS. So, uh, you know, that should hopefully improve it. It's still going to be a grind. And, you know, as a collective community, we'll see what's up when this thing launches. And on that note, my friends, I think we're going to start to wrap up this video. Needless to say, I was very disappointed about the codename Nightmare thing. I didn't put much stock in it anyway. I did not think it was going to be, you know, survival or anything new. I think it was just going to be a rewashed, you know, level we've already done. But again, to hear it's canceled is kind of a bummer. 
However, from what I have heard from a lot of people playing the PTS, the gear and the weapons look great. They will be improving certain gameplay things in regards to not only the open world, but the summit as well. You'll have more, you know, rewards and different reasons to log in. And that's really all we can ask for at this point. As always, as I hear any information whatsoever, I will pass it along to you. Please make sure you leave any questions and comments down below. I will be doing another news update video on Friday, and at that point, I'll take questions, try to answer things, because there were, again, a lot of things in this uh, state of the game they did not address. At this point, I want to take a moment and thank you all for the continued support. The way you've welcomed us into this community has been amazing. You know, our eight-month anniversary is on the 4th. We're about to hit 6,000 subscribers, and I just, I appreciate all of your support so much. Like I said at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of what we're doing here. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button as well. But most importantly, as always, take care, be kind, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.